iOS 16 is coming up pretty soon at WWDC 2022. Last year, Apple confirmed that iOS 15 will support all the same devices as iOS 14, which was impressive. But what will happen this year with iOS 16? Currently, the requirements for iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 is the A8 chip and 2GB of RAM, which is the iPad Mini 4. I'm sure that the A8 and the A8X will be dropped, but I also believe that the A9 and A9X will be dropped, which are featured in the iPhone 6S, iPhone SE 1st Gen, and iPad Pro 9.7 inch and 12.9 inch 1st generation. It's definitely time for Apple to drop some devices. The last time Apple dropped devices was with iOS 13, where they dropped the iPhone 5S and iPad Air 1st Gen, or in other words, the A7 chip. That was back in 2019, and since then, no devices have been dropped, which is pretty impressive. However, due to this long pause on discontinuing devices from iOS support, I think this year Apple will decide to drop the A8, A8X, A9, and A9X, making the minimum requirement the iPhone 7 and iPad 6th gen with the A10 chip. Furthermore, iOS 15 was not a super huge update, especially for the older devices where they excluded major features such as live text. I believe that iOS 16 will be a bigger update than iOS 15, which could increase the chance of more devices being dropped. Furthermore, since iOS 15 was a smaller update, that may indicate why the A8X and A8 chip were supported. Probably the most interesting device to think about is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch from 2015. That device has an A9X chip with 4GB of RAM, and Apple has supported devices based on RAM alone in the past. For instance, Apple continued supporting the iPad Mini 4 with the A8 chip and 2GB of RAM with iOS 13, 14, and 15, but dropped the iPhone 6 for iOS 13 which had the same A8 chip but only 1GB of RAM. Based on that logic, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch first generation should get iPadOS 16. There's also another side to the story. Apple has a list of vintage devices. To qualify for that list, 5-7 to seven years must have passed from the device's discontinuation date. The iPad Pro 12.9 inch was discontinued on June 5th, 2017. So the 5 years would be coming up at around WWDC. But it has to be between 5-7 to seven years from the discontinuation date. So it's not for sure that it's going to be vintage at WWDC 2022. I do think the iPad Pro 9.7 inch will be dropped since it only has 2GB of RAM and the A9X chip, and I think that makes it more likely that the 12.9 inch variant will be dropped too. It's also important to remember that Apple has never in the past only supported an X variant of the chip, so that makes it more likely for the first gen iPad Pro 12.9 inch to be dropped. Lastly, iPhone Soft leaks that the iPhone 6S SE 1st gen, iPad 5th gen, iPad Pro 9.7 inch and the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 1st gen will be dropped. iPhone Soft has been wrong in the past though, so I'm just basing my thoughts on what I think. Conclusively, my prediction is that the A8, A8X, A9, and A9X will be dropped from iOS 16 support, making the minimum device for iOS 16, the iPhone 7, and the minimum device for iPadOS 16, the iPad 6th generation, iPad Pro 10.5 inch, iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2nd generation, and iPad mini 5. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.